On June the 4th, 1984, the author and producer of cultural films, Paul Pisanos, invited to the offices of his company in Athens, approximately 80 people, to announce to them an idea of his that was original and bold in inspiration. That Greece was to become again as it was 2,000 years ago in the period of the golden age of Pericles, a world center of letters, arts, and sciences. A meeting center for the heads of state, academic institutions, leading scientists, researchers, philosophers, and artists from every corner of the globe. A meeting center for collaborating and directing the common endeavor of spreading peace, morality, reason, and wisdom to the peoples of the world in a spirit of love, cooperation, cultural progress, and peaceful coexistence. Paul Pisanos's idea was accepted with intense enthusiasm, and in the same year, 1984, personalities from many countries of the world, among whom were academicians, university professors, scientists, politicians, authors, and researchers, mayors of large cities and artists, constituted the founding membership of an association which today consists of several hundred members, who are determined to play a decisive role in the furtherance of letters, arts and sciences in the societies of the world. In this difficult age, it has been clearly demonstrated that the decline in human values, the dire manner of life of the people of the third world, immigration, unemployment, famine, poverty and wars, the inadequate management of the planet's pollution, the growing quality decline of the ecosystem, even the sluggish progress of human travel in space are due to the segregation of social institutions and research and experimentation centers, particularly in the countries of the Western world, each one separately with its own financial resources, trying to provide solutions to problems for which only the collective cooperation of all the peoples of the Earth could structurally produce the desired result.